Hi everybody, welcome back. Happy Friday. Friday Night Fever is underway, as you can see, live from Reagan Stadium in Portland. The uh, skies have cleared, the sun is out. They had about two inches of rain. That was the wettest place in the coastal bend today. All right, let's take a look. Officially at the airport, they had almost a half inch of rain today. 75 on the low, 90, just 90 on the afternoon high. First time in a week and a half that we haven't seen 97 or hotter here. And again, temperatures coming down. The weather story looks like this. Again, scattered showers for tomorrow. Then we're expecting isolated showers on Sunday. That's your weekend forecast as we monitor the tropics. And of course, Ida going to the Louisiana coast, as Pat mentioned earlier. Very hot early next week because we'll be on the far western side of the broad circulation of that system. 84 now, an east wind at 11. And the rainfall looks like this across the region today. It was scattered about and definitely more than yesterday. Tomorrow will be similar. Again, scattered in the area. Not all areas seen rains. The city didn't have hard anything today at the showers did pinwheel in here with an upper level disturbance and an unstable atmosphere that is currently stabilizing across the region so that's good for Friday night football the only activities up here north of Refurio I think that stays north that may wander into B County before sunset so showers ending that's what's happening now 85 at 8 o'clock tonight and humid and mild in 82 at 10 p.m. Water vapor shows the dry air up to the north, but the high pressure has left the region and we are seeing a replacement of low pressure weak in the atmosphere and all this tropical moisture indicated in blue here. And that's why there are showers in the forecast again, starting early in the morning around seven. At least that's early for me and uh, then scattered activity uh, through one o'clock tomorrow afternoon, pushing inland and dissipating as we approach sunset. And then we get to Sunday, there'll be even less activity. So we'll go from scattered tomorrow to just isolated on Sunday. Walking the dog uh, this evening looks like this. Temperatures will be in the 80s. A light southeast wind, humid but tolerable with lows tonight going down to 73 in Alice, 74 in Robstown and 84 in Port Aransas. Highs tomorrow held down a little bit by the tropical moisture with 93 here and 95 in Alice, 98 out to the west. The only system that's really working of interest right now is Hurricane Ida off the western tip of Cuba with 80 mile an hour winds and gusts to 100. The forecast track on this calls for it to increase in intensity and by tomorrow evening become a major category three as it goes over this very warm water out here in the central Gulf and that'll turn it into a category four hurricane as it approaches New Orleans with perhaps a 15 to 20 foot storm surge. This is gonna be absolutely devastating for this area of Louisiana on Sunday night, Sunday night. So we feel for the people there as it goes inland. The steering currents on this, high pressure to the east, that's what's brought it up to the north. That high was over us a week ago, but it's not now and we'll be hot and dry on the backside of this system. And there's the energy for the rain here tomorrow and uh, that gradually goes away with the other energy being replaced in the atmosphere over Louisiana. So here is a look at your seven day forecast. It's wild, scattered showers tomorrow, isolated on Sunday, very hot, 100 degrees here on Monday, 99 Tuesday, 97 Wednesday, and return to isolated showers Thursday and Friday of next week.